What's up, everybody? How are you doing? I know this is weird. H is not here. Why is he not here, Joel? Well, that's because this is a solo mission. Which, of course, is a bit of fun, really. Uh, so what's what's happening is that we're going to be trying to move to do five videos a week. Um, that's what we're trying. We're attempting it. Don't necessarily know. Sorry. That it's going to end well. And uh, I've got to do all the editing. So trying to make it simplify it, make it easier, possibly. We don't know. We're just we're we're kind of evolving, trying to scale. It's it's just what it is, you know. Anyways, so today we're going to be doing V. Now, I got sent this because it's V Week, of course. You all love V Week. You know you do. Which V Week 2.0, we've already got a list of songs to do for that. That's not going to be for a couple months because we want to do a Jimin one. We want to do uh, RM, uh, Augusti, you know, like all that stuff. So, uh, and then, of course, the normal stuff that we have in our gigantic category five list of crap so um it's not crap it's it's music it's uh music comedy and a bunch of other stuff you know it's it's an immense list it's an immense list and we keep getting messages from people who are like hey are you gonna use anything on the list i gave you or the ones i chose we're trying okay so today we got sent this one it is the j-hope hug me Romanization. What is romanization? I that's a term I don't know. Romanticizing? Maybe it's something that was a fan made. Put two pieces together or something. I don't know. Romanization. How do I not know what that means? Anyways, okay. Because I've seen it before. I just couldn't remember if I ever learned what it meant. If you guys know, say in the comments, because you know you're going to. <laughs> so uh it is weird not having H here and talking to him. It's a little odd, but I'm glad I get to talk with you guys. So that's that makes up for it. So let's go ahead and watch this. Let's check it out, see what it's all about. And uh, yay. Girl, could they get a 
가볍게 만들어 우리 사연 익숙함이란 게 무엇보다 무서운지 몰라 네 손맛도 몰라 결국 후회 가득한 너와의 이불까지 날이 갈수록 커져가 네 빈자리 Oh shit 아름답던 우리 꽃밭에 무릎 좁아도 다 추억들만 만개한 채 그리움에 향한 부모 나와 너 다시 볼수 있다면 나내 모든 걸 보여주고 봐널 바가 다 뛰고 있는 내 마음 꼭다 너에게 전하고 봐나 For real, for real 이 진심이 네 품에 안길 때까지 그냥 날 안아줘 나를 좀 안아줘 아무 말 말고서 내게 달려와줘 외롭고 불안하기만 한 마음으로 이렇게 널 기다리고 있잖아 난 너를 사랑해 난 너를 사랑해 긴 침묵 속에서 소리 내 외칠게 어리석고 나약하기만 한내 마음을 Okay, man. Okay. So I should have watched this with H. I, man, H is going to cuss me out. <laughs> the reason being is because like he, he, he wants to hear like V do like, like have more harmonies and things like, like this is exactly what he was waiting for. H, I'm sorry, man. I know you're watching this. I'm so sorry. We should have done this together. I'm sorry, buddy. Kind of ruined it for you. <laughs> <laughs> I still got to go out on Friday, bud. <laughs> okay, so one, I love the artistic unpacking you can do with a lot of these songs, and V's carried it over from BTS. Like the unpacking you can do because you can buy words, lyrics, and everything in there. The tone, the tonality of it, the you, it can be applied to a relationship gone wrong where one side is not really feeling that that relationship anymore it can be applied to a family member in that type of relationship and development because i mean there are some parts that obviously are more about a relationship in a romantic sense but there are some parts that you can really take you know to heart if it's something like a where it feels like someone's abandoning you abandoning who you who you are who you are not being able to accept you for who you are even though they know you better than anybody else but it's almost like they're just letting go and not trying like they're giving up you know it's almost like that and then you know v says you know should i just take a step closer you know he's he's kind of going on that edge like i do i need to come after you but if i do is that going to be stepping on who you are as a person you know it's it's kind of a, a weird thing he wants this person back he wants this person in their life in uh in his life and whatnot and he's just wondering what really how could you cut it off so easily how could you take it away how could you just end it like how did you get to this point like it's almost like he's questioning himself the whole time like i want what we had to stay but it's not here why is it not here and it's almost like this song is a i don't know it's it's not necessarily that he doesn't have his own self-worth that's the beauty of it you know a lot of those types of breakup songs or relationship ending type of songs it's almost like you know one side is just heavy-handedly sad depressed and i can't live without you i can't exist without you and that type of thing is not really true. If it was, then the suicide rate would be like 60% higher. But it's it's more or less like he liked the individual he was with her. Unpacking it that way anyways, not the other ways you could possibly see it. But 
it is like he likes that they were together and they made each other better. And he's just wondering, why is this not working anymore for you? Why would you walk away so easily? How could you do that so easily? How could it seem like it was just a choice? And it's sad because in reality, it's not just a choice. You don't wake up one day and you're like, ah, I'm done with this. You know, I mean, you think about it often. You contemplate, you go over in your head multiple times, and then sometimes you'll put it out of your head and act like, oh, well, no, it's just, it's good the way it is, you know, blah, blah, blah. But the reality of the situation is you can't control how other people feel. So I feel like this song is more or less reminding the other person of what they were together and who he is and hoping maybe that you'll see the light and make a change and you'll be happy again. But um, uh, shout out goes to J-Hope too, because that was just a, that was great cadence, great timing. Uh, it was a little abrupt that it just, you knew that it was going to start because you, you see him in the video, but it's like, it definitely hit a lot heavier at the, it, it, there was no, there was no slight jumping into it. It was not dipping toes in the water. It was like, let's get into it. Boom. You know, but uh great energy by J-Hope too. And good, good lyricism. I swear. I just really wish stuff like this just came out all the time, but yeah, they do release stuff all the time. So it's like, I mean, we, we as a channel have so much stuff to go through just off the list we have from, I mean, country to rock, rap, hip hop, heavy metal. I mean, there's so much stuff all around the world that even I haven't heard. And I've heard a lot of artists. So, you know, it, uh, and again, most of the channel stuff that has been introduced has been me introducing H to it, you know, because <laughs> most of the stuff he's like, well, have you ever heard of blah, blah? I'm like, yeah. So, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I mean, uh, man, that was that was a good song. And it's definitely a song that you don't necessarily have to be going through that. But it's something that can, you know, make you feel comfortable in a way, you know, make you feel loved in a way. Uh, if you unpack it in that way, which is just that you let's say you're at you could be at work and hear this song and be like, oh, I want to be home and hug my kids. You know, I want to be home and hug my mom. I want to be home and hug my wife, you know. And it's and it's really it's really kind of a nice way of it's almost like a pic like a picture. Like you're taking an image at a point in time in a moment in your in an emotional state. And it's like a memory almost, like a picture memory, picturesque memory. And like that's where you want to be. Like that's what this song feels to me. I know I know it's most likely about a relationship, but I just really feel like it can be so much more and it's a very in-depth song for being like a breakup song or an ending of an era relationship song but it, it can mean so much more and that's what i love about art art is subjective i the beholder another catchphrase here <laughs> uh guys i love you guys you're awesome you're fun to talk to I don't get to do it as much in the DMs and whatnot, uh, but uh, uh, we do appreciate you guys full and wholeheartedly. We do. We we enjoy talking to you guys. We enjoy seeing your comments and whatnot. We can't always reply to them. I'm sorry. It's just literally like when we started to gain more and more, like we used to be on there a lot, but when we started to gain more and more people commenting, things like it got it got crazy like we have jobs and families to take care of and it's literally me doing the bulk of all the stuff so <laughs> and me doing solo mission stuff is also gonna it's just gonna make my workload more but it's okay because you don't have to worry about that you don't have to worry about that at all and i totally forgot most of the intro stuff because h is not here and i miss him He's going to hate that. But um, no, don't forget to like and subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell notification so you know when new things are coming out. Uh, go ahead and check out MK5 Studio or MK5Studios.com if you want to. If you want to. It's the website for the company, parent company. Do graphic design, web design, video, pre and post production. But go ahead and check out MK5Store.com. 
uh, if you want to support the channel and help it. And go go do something nice today. Go do something nice today. Give someone a high five. Give someone a big smile. Yeah, yeah. Send them a link to this video. Be like, hey, if you're having a rough time, watch this video. It'll make you. It'll make you feel your feels. You know, stay. Don't you don't want to stay in your feels all the time, but you know, you gotta have that balance between logic and. Man, that, that song makes me feel, honestly reminds me of three different relationships I had when I was younger. Uh, that's exactly how I felt after horrible good times. That means anything? Anyways, you guys have a great weekend. I'm, I'm glad you enjoyed V week. <laughs> uh, we'll be doing some stuff next week and everything. I think we got some comedy, one BTS and a couple other things that we're doing. But uh, then the week after that, I think we've got a couple things we're going to be doing a little bit different. But the week after that, I think we're doing a, uh, an RM week. And then two weeks after that, we're going to be doing a um, uh, August D slash sugar week. And then we're going to do uh, a gym and week. And then uh, I got to see if, if there's actual singles and albums out by Jungkook. I think there has to be. I mean, almost every single member has singles and albums out in some way. Oh, no. Someone told me one of them doesn't do that. Oh, man. What was it? Man, see, that's what I have. A horrible memory. And it makes for some difficult situations. <laughs> but uh, you guys have a great weekend. Uh, enjoy your life and existence. Do something nice for somebody. You know, make some happy moments and whatnot. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Thank you.